Hey everybody, it's Tuesday. Um, just heading home. Um, took my wife's car in this morning to the dealership. And they supposedly fixed the issue. They had to clean the throttle body and reprogram the computer. And um, then they tried to sell me a truckload of bullcrap, which is typical for a dealership and tell me that I needed this certain part, which you can't actually buy. It comes on another part, and when I asked them about it, no, 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 that, you can get that part. We have, we can get that part ordered and get it in. And I said, isn't it part of this other part? And they're like, no. Well, they're full of crap, it is. And I've already bought the part. So, they fixed their issue, their warranty issue, so now the rest of it, if I can get all the parts in this week, we're going to do this weekend, if not, it'll be the next weekend, uh, because I don't know that, I think one of the parts, one of the parts, I didn't have a choice on Amazon to say, okay, I want it overnight, or second day, or whatever, and it wasn't Prime, I have a Prime account, and it wasn't set up on Prime, so I think it's just normal shipping. So they're saying anywhere from Thursday to next Tuesday. So more than likely it's going to be next Tuesday. So the following weekend is when we'll do that. So at least the car's running. The check engine light's still on, but the car's running. Uh, I thought it ran much better today, even with the rest of the stuff that needs to be done to it. Uh, it should improve it even more once we get the tune-up done on it and everything else. So, and then we have to buy tires for it. That's the next expense. And that all will be straightened out. I didn't get a chance to look at any college stuff. Um, I don't remember what happened last night. Like, I went and picked up the parts and I know went home and we got Chinese food and then I'm pretty much just completely wiped out and I had to get up early this morning to go to the dealership and then sit there for two and a half hours while they worked on the car. Oh, while well, they said that they'd have to look because not all cars were covered by this um, extended warranty thing to fix the problem, which is another untruth. They're all covered. Uh, it just matters if you've had it done or not. And so anytime that you experience that problem, there's, you know, they have to fix it and it's a one-time fix. So, and it even says on the recall that it, it affects all models from 05 to 07 for these certain cars, these three cars. So, you know, it's typical crap. Anyway, that's a place that, that I won't ever be back and I will probably will never buy another Ford. I'm kind of hooked on Toyotas now because I have the Prius, so and we have two Fords. We have my truck and then the, my wife's car, but I think the next car that we get for her will probably be a Toyota, and then if I ever get rid of the truck and get another truck, I'll buy a Toyota truck. So anyway, back to the college thing. I didn't get a chance to do it. i got to do it tonight. I've got to start working on the um, YouTube Creator class that I signed up for. I've got a, like the first, I think the first lesson done. I got two lessons left. And the problem is, is that when you take, I think on the second one, they talk about changes you can make to your YouTube page. And so that's something I want to do is be able to pause it and make that change and then go back and continue to watch the video. So that'll probably take a little bit. So I should get a whole lot of time tonight, and then uh, I'll probably look at the college catalog first and figure something out. That way at least I'm decided on something, and then I'll try to at least get lesson two done. And I just have to have lesson three done before the 10th, because that's when the next three release. And then I have till the 17th to finish those, and then the class will be done. And then I'll get an actual certificate. So that ought to be pretty cool. 
what else, what else, what else, what else? Uh, I gotta get a video card, or a video card, a memory card for the other camera. And hopefully, the next time we go to our friends, I'm gonna mount it in that marine case and take it with me and try it out. Make sure that that marine case works okay. But I didn't know, but I have to order this kit. And it's basically, I guess there's O-rings in that marine kit. And you have to put something on them to keep them from ruining. Luckily, our friends don't have a chlorine-based pool. They have a saltwater-based pool, uh, which hopefully won't do as much damage as chlorine would. But I still have to find that repair kit and then I gotta find out if they even sell more of the O-rings because if they ever go out I don't want to spend another 50 bucks on another waterproof case. I mean it's just kind of ridiculous. So sorry my attention got drug away as ass hat in the BMW just passed everybody on the right and nearly caused a wreck. So if you ever have the chance to buy a BMW, don't. Trust me, nobody will like you after you buy it. Because I'm not saying everybody, but the majority of people in Austin that drive BMWs drive like assholes. It's just how it is, I guess. That's why I don't have one. I'm enough of an asshole without having a car that points it out to everybody. Anyway... There's just somebody that just pulled out and nearly caused another wreck. God, and yesterday, oh my God, I just wanted to punch people. It, it was like everybody was trying to run me over yesterday on the way home. I was getting so pissed. I don't know what everybody's problem was yesterday. I was getting so, like, all worked up. And it's something I try not to do because it, you know, causes me undue stress, but... People were just coming over into my lane, and I wish I had turned the camera around. You'd have seen people. It was a two-lane road that I took. I t I'm taking my normal way home today. Uh, the other way home is the way I usually come in the morning, and then when I work in that other office is the way I go back because it's closer. And it's just a little two-lane road, and people were literally coming into my lane and then, like, flipping me off when I was honking at them. And if you want to really piss me off, flip me off when I honk at you for being a moron and not knowing how to drive. And then I'm really pissed. So. But I got over it and went home. And uh, I have to give props to the Chinese place in town. It's a buffet and it's not, I'm not going to say it's the greatest thing in, ever. I mean, we ate Chinese food in Chinatown. Stupid. My phone whistles at me. I don't even know what that means. My wife thought it was Wednesday and it's actually... Oh, she's saying I'm okay. It's actually Tuesday. Because she's asking me if I was going to go to the ukulele class and I was like, no. Wouldn't be till tomorrow and I haven't signed up for it yet. Another one of my 100,000 things that I, I got to get done one of these days is learning the ukulele. So anyway, their food's okay. It's not great. And like I was saying, we ate Chinese food in Chinatown, and that's where they eat Chinese food. That was so amazing. I would fly back to San Francisco just to go eat it. That same hole in the wall that we ate at, uh, you wouldn't think it was that great by looking at it, but damn, it was good. Anyway... They, they be on hook us up every time we go in there. Uh, my wife is pretty picky when it comes to stuff. She doesn't like bamboo and uh, other stuff. So she normally gets cashew chicken with just cashews and broccoli and carrots and the chicken and the sauce. And then I usually get sesame chicken because I don't need to do anything to it. It's just chicken sauce and sesame seeds. Anyway, he gave us a to-go, each of us got a to-go container, like a big one, like what you get at, you know, restaurant, steakhouse, when you got to take, you know, half your steak with you. 
and the thing was like the top of it was kind of mounding out when I opened it up I mean it was literally full to the top mine was with sesame chicken I have enough probably for two more meals and I was just blown away and last time it was pretty full but this time it was ridiculously full I mean it's enough that my wife and I and maybe even our roommate could share it it's like a completely ridiculous amount of food and it wasn't bad it was like 20 it was 20 20 dollars yeah for both the bars and then of course I dive crab rangoons I love those freaking things so it's crazy though the amount of food that they gave us for that money I just boggles my mind and no one you know if with me being in the food business a long time ago and then having the hot dog cart and knowing food costs and stuff it just blows me away that they can afford to give out that much food I mean you wouldn't think they'd make much off buffets and they probably don't make as much as you think but I'm sure they do pretty good but it just still is amazing that they gave me as much as they did So, I don't know what we're eating tonight. I guess we're going to eat more Chinese food. Which I'm fine with. I love Chinese food. Uh, what I want to find is those steamed buns like we had in uh, San Francisco. I think about them all the time. They're so freaking good. And it's just like a rice flour bun and it doesn't even look cooked. It's just steamed. And it doesn't, it's puffy and it doesn't really look like it's cooked all the way through. It's nearly translucent. And then right in the middle, there's a little pocket of, of chopped barbecue pork. Oh my God, it's so good. That and, uh, they made these, um, it, the name of it sounds funny. They're crunchy shrimp balls. And yeah, I know the whole shrimp and balls and all that joke. Anyway... They were, it was just like this crunchy, like round shape, and it was, it was basically just shrimp, and I think a couple of other things in it, and then they deep fried, and it was so amazing, uh, and that place was so good, I could go in there and eat like a whole tray of those steamed buns, and then like a whole plate of those, um, shrimp balls they were like insanely good so that's what we've been trying to find in Austin and I haven't had any luck I asked the restaurant last night if they knew of anybody in Austin and made them and they said no might be a good business for somebody to get into in a trailer um, I'm sure it'd be pretty easy you just have to have a, a steam table to steam those buns so and I could probably make it myself but I'm too lazy So that's basically all I got for today. I'm like super tired because I got up way too early and had to let the dogs out and fight with them this morning and Rufus was upset and didn't want me to go and was trying to go under the bed and pout. Normally when he starts doing that I make him get on the bed and love on him a little bit before I leave. Um, that way he's not too upset. I mean he still gets upset and Lily gets a little upset, and Jack-Jack, he's kind of like, I'm going back to bed. And, but Rufus is so sensitive that he gets upset. He wants someone to be with him all the time. That way, you know, he has that security of mom or dad sitting next to him or laying next to him. So, I think he got over it this morning. I basically loved on him and then, you know, talked them into eating food and then left so anyway I got nothing else for today that's pretty much it so you guys have a great Tuesday night not Wednesday Tuesday and then I will see you tomorrow